Welcome, this is a continuation of my 3D printing series with the FL Sun Q5 printer. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I wanted to print something out, and I have this, it's a bearing, I guess you'd call it. It's like a gear bearing thing. I think it actually is called gear bearing. Um, and it says it's going to take one hours and five minutes to print, and then it says it is going to take 13 grams of filament, and 4.34 meters. So I wanted to measure that when it comes out and see if it's actually 13 grams. From that I should be able to calculate how much it costs to print. I also have this kilowatt hooked up so we can look at the electrical usage of it. So right now it's preheating and it's taking, boy it's jumping around 44 watts, 21 watts, 18 watts. So I'm going to get this print started. I have the card loaded in the printer. Okay, I finally found the file. <laughs> so I'll hit confirm here and we'll start. Looks like the bed has to get back up to temperature. Electrical usage is at 130 watts right now. It's jumping around a little bit. Now the extruder has to cool off just a little bit. Okay, here we go. So this print should take about an hour to print, so I'm going to leave this to print. Hopefully I'll have a time lapse from my GoPro here, and then we will see how much it cost. So it's jumping around quite a bit on the wattage. 70, 100, 57, 40, 45. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I would have thought it was a little more steady, but. Okay, I'll be back in about an hour. Okay, the print just finished. It took an hour and 19 minutes to do the print, and Cura said it would take an hour and five minutes, so it was off by 14 minutes. So let's look at how much electricity this took. So on cool down here, it's taking about six watts. So here's the cost. I'll go down through this. So this is yearly, monthly, daily, and I think this is the total. So the total is at zero. So it didn't quite hit enough to register on here. I have this set up for nine cents a kilowatt hour. But if we were printing that all day, if I can get to the right measurement, there we go. If we we're printing all day, it would cost a dollar five. If we had that thing running all week, it would cost four dollars and fifty three cents. And all year, it would be fifty five dollars and eighteen cents. So that's actually less than I thought it would be. So it's fairly economical to print. If you had this thing running all the time and it was only $55 a year, that doesn't sound like a lot of money. So now I'll wait for the part to cool down and then I'll take it off and we'll weigh it. Okay, I think this has cooled down enough so I'll try and remove it now. I feel like the outside layer or the outside ring is breaking loose. I can almost squeeze that and push in on those sides, so I gotta be careful. There we go. And we still have that ring. I did some Googling and that ring, if it's showing up here, is called skirting. And it's actually not bad because it kind of cleans the nozzle out and makes sure you have good filament coming out. So I'm going to measure this now and we'll see how much it weighs. Okay, so I have my kitchen scale here. I'll turn it on. I'll set units to grams. And we're at 11 grams. So Cura thought this might be about 13 grams. So, you know, Cura is not going to be completely accurate because it doesn't know how much the filament actually weighs. So we're two grams off. So the filament I'm using was about $20 for a kilogram of it. So that would put this at 22 cents if I'm doing my math correctly. So pretty cheap. So now let's see if this will break free. 
So this is the same as like a drills bit. I'll, I'll grab one real quick. So I said bit, but I should have said driver. So like one of these should fit in here like so. And then I'll see if I can move it. There we go. Ah, I didn't get it on camera. There wasn't much to see though. It did it re really quickly. So I should be able to run the drill in here. It's very smooth. You can see how much play it has. Let's see if I can get that on camera. So it's got a little play, which is expected. This isn't precision machinery. Let's try it on high. This, I don't know if this is dangerous either. So if I get hurt, it'll be a good video, won't it? Wow, that works incredibly well. I didn't feel it on my fingers at all, but you know, with that much play in there, it's not like there's a load bearing surface here. So as far as I know, 3D printing is the only way to make one of these because this won't come apart. You have to make it this way. And we have a little fidget spinner thing there. So that's pretty neat. And it costs 22 cents. So would you pay me 50 cents for this? I'm not going into business. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I just wanted to see how much a 3D print cost that someone might make. And I don't know how useful this is, but this is sure a fun thing to do. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.